Nation, I hope everyone is having a very legit day. Welcome back to another episode on the channel. My name is Tim, and you guys are watching Legit Looks for Life. And if you are not following me on social media, you are missing out on a lot of behind the scenes stuff. You're missing out on a lot of like dramatic tweets. You're missing out on a lot of like selfie photos. So follow me down below right here to follow me on everything social. Anyway, this morning, as I had promised you guys, Legit Nation, I do this for you every day. I do this for you because it's always legit for my legit nation, so you guys know what we're doing today. You know what they say guys, goodbyes are usually the hardest. And uh, it's hard for me to say goodbye to these boys, but I know that my legit nation deserves every one of them. So shout out to you, man, the winner. Jeremy, you deserve these, man. You entered. Thank you so much. We're gonna go ship these off right now, but let's get a clickbait thumbnail first. All right, guys, so we're here at the post office right now. I'm about to ship off these Yeezys right now. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for participating. This truly, truly means the world to me, and I know that the Legit Nation is only growing. It's evolving. It's getting better each and every day. And uh, definitely more giveaways on the way. So I'm gonna go ship these off right now and uh, let's get our day started. Yo guys, so while I was in there, I actually got a fan mail in the P.O. Box, guys. As always, guys, remember, you can send me fan mail, P.O. Box in the description down below. This one is from Matthew, he's from Texas, and it's something hard in here. I'm not sure what it is, but it feels like something hard. Dude, this thing is tight, yo. A Michael Jordan basketball card, guys. That is sick. Yo, thank you so much, Matthew, bro. This is dope, bro. This is really, really sick. Michael Jordan, 1990 through 91 Golden Season NBA Top Stars. Tim, my name is Matthew Edge. I'm 15 and I've been watching your videos for a long time. I love that you have a passion for sneakers and God. You are also one of my top favorite YouTubers. I'm gonna make my way to the very top because I'm gonna work hard to make it myself your favorite YouTuber. But yo, this is sweet, guys. Another Concord for the wall, baby. Concord 11s, let's get it, man. That's dope, yo, I love it. Matthew, thank you so, so much for the fan art wall. I gotta get to Albert's house because we're gonna be shooting some bangers today, so let's hop over there right now. Hi. Hi. Bro, when are we gonna use the booster board again? Go check out uh, Albert Casares. <laughs> Casares! He goes by Casares, though. Casares. My boy name. What's up, what's your name? What's your plug? I don't have a plug. No, like what's your social media plug? Um, I only have Instagram. Oh, music video. Yo, first move of the day, Best Buy. We gotta, we gotta do a, little, do a little upgrade. We gotta do a little upgrade for the vlogs. All right, guys, and we done upgraded over here at Best Buy. Now we have a crazy idea. I didn't end up picking up a mic just because they didn't have the mic that I needed. But we're about to shoot a banger right now, so I can't wait to tell you guys what we're about to do. Yo, so we're actually gonna pull up to Ross right now and get a size 18 pair of sneakers. You guys are probably wondering, Tim, what are you getting a size 18 pair of sneakers for? Okay. We're gonna do a little social experiment in the mall. I'm gonna be walking around the mall in a size 18 pair of sneakers, <laughs> and we're gonna see how people react to me walking around with a size 18 pair of sneakers. It's gonna look like a clown, but let's do it. I'm about to hop in this Ross real quick. But if you guys want to see more Ross videos, comment Ross Boss down in the comments down below so we can be sure to come back to Ross and make some uh, videos. Alright, so the reason I wanted to come to Ross is because I know they usually have size 18 sneakers and they really have the bigger sizes. So we're trying to look for a big sneaker to wear today at the mall. These look like they would be really noticeable. But what size are these? Oh size 15 and a half. I can see you in these. In those? Yeah, Heck they no. match you, they suit you. What size are these? 16 and a half. Oh my god. What size are these? <laughs> Bro, these look funny because they're like high tops though. What size are they? Like the orange ones would be hilarious. Yeah, the orange one would be the they best, but they're 15, out. they're not 18. Aww. What about the cleats? <laughs> the cleats? Alright guys, so these are a size 18. Let's see how they fit. 
Zombie walking around like this. <laughs> he looks so stupid. <laughs> it looks funnier, what? Yeah. That's the point, bro. We just gotta tighten him up. Go in the mall, start walking like this. Bigfoot in the building. We'll see what's up. <laughs> these are 18 right here, too. Should I go with the Kobe's or should I go with the. I don't know what these are. Basketball I think these, shoes. they match your outfit a little more. Yeah. But I got red. These are gonna look like. You're gonna look like a clown. Literally like a clown. But that's funny, though. I mean, go for it. What do you think is gonna be more noticeable? These or those? The reds. Then we'll do the reds. Go for it, bro. Red. Okay, 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 mister. Yo, do they have Yeezys here? Damn, Yeezys at Ross. <gasps> <laughs> Clickbait. Size 18 sneakers, let's get it. Wear these to SneakerCon. I'm down. Wear these to uh, VidCon. Is there like Yeezys that big? I don't know, I haven't seen. Oh, you badass. We'll check it out. All right guys, we just cashed out at Ross. Time to go to the mall and lace them up. Let's do this thing. Steal them. We'll see, let's lace these up. Stop, let's go walk. <laughs> Look like a clown, bro. What's up? We out here. The mall, you know? Repping them Kobe's. Kobe? Shout out to Kobe one time. Hopefully, I can be featured on Kobe's Instagram page. Dude, it feels like it's flopping. Like, it's just flopping around. <laughs> Comfortable? It feels weird, bro. Like, flopping everywhere. The shoes are cheaper at Ross. Size 18 and they are size 10, so you know I had to go with that steel. So can I search your shoes, please? <laughs> These things are so fresh, man. Everybody needs to cop them so the pair of size of pair 18 sneakers. I don't think people I don't think people are looking at the feet just because they're not sneakerheads. You know, another day, another video. So we tried at least. 
We didn't get it, but we tried. Can we return these? I don't think they'll take them back. All right, so anyways, we tried. We uh, we failed, but we tried. Going into the mall with size 18 shoes. Uh, they kicked us out, but it's all good. Maybe she said what? What'd you say? Maybe I'll grow into them. Maybe I'll grow into them one day. Maybe one day I will, but you know. We gotta see, I hope I can return these though. Yo, so we're out here at an outdoor mall so we can't get kicked out this time. And I'm here to stunt the new kicks. So uh, we're gonna see what people think of the new kicks. Can I take a picture with you? You like my shoes? Yes. Yo, you have some badass shoes. Hey, like I them, want you. I play skate. Hey, up, it's lit, yo. <laughs> it's a fan meetup. Bro, we're trying to do a social experiment right here. Yeah. I'm wearing size 18 shoes to the mall, bro. Those social crazy. experiment. Crazy. crazy, bro. All right, you're on the video today. All right, let's get a picture real quick. Yo, it's lit. All right, bros, you have a good one. Right off the bat. Let's go to Starbucks because I'm thirsty. Because <laughs> I'm thirsty. Going Barnes and Noble. Oh, we don't waste money, all right. We don't waste money. Oh, I <laughs> fell deeper into the bushes. <laughs> You look at mine. <laughs> those are like mine, but those are the white ones. I really want these. But I'm, tr I'm slowly trying to like get more boosts. And that's Jordan. Because I already have a lot of Jordans. How about like that? I can do that. Go dance in front of them. Timmy, I have to seek your talent. I can bend my feet like that. <laughs> She's just laughing by herself. It's actually pretty hard to jump in. I feel like I'm a clown. I'm just making you laugh. I'm not gonna return these. <laughs> I'm not gonna close up the video here. We're still gonna vlog. It's all about that vlog life, boy. <laughs> that's a that's a big difference. I'm like low key getting a blister from these right now, though. To take be honest, how much? How am I gonna take them off and just walk in socks here? I'd rather walk in these than walk in socks. At least they're fresh. Legit Nation, thank you guys so much for another wonderful day. We're just coming back from the social experiment, the sneaker thing. That thing was ridiculously crazy. I don't know what I was thinking. Like literally, the sneakers are bigger than my freaking head, guys. Just to give you an estimation, this is how big the sneakers actually are. They're size 18. I don't know if the audio sounded kind of different today just because, you know, I'm not using my mic today. But my old mic started messing up, so I definitely need to get a new mic probably tomorrow. But guys, I have a special announcement to announce to you guys, and it's something crazy. Uh, this summer, we're definitely making moves. This summer, we're definitely expanding and doing new things. So if you guys have ever heard of the thing called the Sneaker Games. Now, the Sneaker Games, yes, it's always in Pretty Boy Fredo's video. Pretty Boy Fredo is one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, man. I really, really love his content. Basically, from what I have seen, Sneaker Games is kind of like a sneaker convention type of thing. Pretty Boy Fredo is going to be there. Flight Reacts is going to be there. Legit Looks for Life is going to be there. Wait, wait, what? Legit Looks for Life? is going to be in the building? That is right guys, July 9th, Legit Looks for Life will be a special guest at Sneaker Games. I just got the email today, we're uh, going through the steps to make it finalized, but I just want to give you guys a heads up, I'm also definitely going to have merch, so you got the first line of Legit Looks for Life merch coming out. I want to see all my Legit Nation there, July 9th, mark your calendars, Houston, here we come Sneaker Games. Also guys, on July 22nd. That's right, we're gonna be in Dallas at Kixpo for the 10th anniversary, guys. Here is the flyer right here. I know it's not really picking up too well on camera, 
But your boy's gonna be a special guest at Kixpo in Dallas, July 22nd. That is right, so I definitely want all my Legit Nation to be there, and we are going to bring merch. It's gonna be lit, but I wanna see you guys there, man. It's gonna be exclusive merch. I, I'll give you guys more details on all the events that we'll be attending later on, guys, but basically, if you guys wanna purchase your Kixpo, Ticket, I will make sure to leave the link in the description. Also, if you use my code TimTV, that's right, TimTV, you will get five dollars off your purchase, guys. So it's gonna be lit. We're gonna be doing a lot of crazy stuff this summer. Thank you, Legit Nation, for sticking by my side, guys, and it's gonna get pretty wild. So stay tuned. Now, today's word of the day comes from Proverbs 15, 31 through 32. It says, The ear that listens to life giving reproof will dwell among the wise. Whoever ignores instruction despises himself, but he who listens to reproof gains intelligence. Wow, what a crazy Bible verse. So, whoever listens, let's look up the definition of reproof, you know, to get you guys, you know, on the same page as us. Basically, reproof means criticism for a fault. So, whoever listens to life giving a proof will dwell among the wise. So if you can handle on people telling you, oh no bro, you shouldn't be doing this, you can't be doing this, you know, and we're talking about, you know, from, you know, your older instructors, for the people that are in charge of you, but whoever ignores instruction despises himself. So whoever ignores instruction despises yourself. So if you ignore instruction, you hate yourself. Like, if you listen to instruction, you love yourself because you want the best for yourself, but if you hate instruction, you must hate yourself because that only helps you. And it says, he who listens to reproof gains intelligence, so he who listens to, you know, being corrected will gain intelligence. So I know a lot of times, you know, especially at your guys' young age, you think, oh, I got this in the bag, this is all me, I'm gonna do this, but we gotta remember, we're not all there yet. We're still growing. And I always tell everybody I will never stop being a student of life because there's also always so much for me to learn. Even when I'm not in school, you know, there's always so much intelligence and knowledge and everything that I can learn from. So, you know, I, you know, I welcome reproof. If my dad has something to tell me that's something that I shouldn't be doing, something that I can get better at, I'll listen to him. So, basically, to come to a, you know, conclusion, don't have pride about whatever's going on in your life. Accept your proof, grow from it, and be a better person each and every day. I love you guys so much, Legit Nation. Thank you for staying tuned on another episode. We will be sure to bring you back the fire tomorrow in tomorrow's video. And until then, I'll see y'all guys in the next one. Peace, homies. Stay blessed. We are out of here.